Hey, it's Dave Knight here at 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. Today was Thursday, May 17, 2018. Uh, what I'm going to say about today is that I am not a gunslinger. And um, you know what? I'm good at a, being dark side trader. Uh, my long experiment is over. I am tired of, of, of trying to figure out uh, one side of the market that I continually just get my ass kicked in. Um, I can't figure it out. I've tried uh, pretty much since the beginning of the year through to this uh, to through this today, and I'm going back to what I know. And uh, what I know is being on the short side, and uh, also with the ability to be at the 50k, it also allows me to go at a one R stop as opposed to one half and two thirds and all the other crap that that I have to do because I was in uh, the 30k and only a $500 loss limit. Uh, and also along those lines is most trading days until I get my feet back on, on the ground properly I'm gonna limit myself to no more than three trades a day uh, more times than not I'm gonna just trade one time hopefully and stay in it and it, whether it takes me in or out like for instance today uh, if I would have uh, traded properly today I would have been short from 7214 if I traded two at that level um, one would have been out at um, maybe one or two p, uh, which would have been roughly about what 20, 18, 20 ticks on one, and the second one may or may not been out at break even. It it could have, I could have held uh, the stop on that would have been 27 today, and as I look back at the mark right now, it went up to 26, not 27. So depending upon how far. I get on one contract gives me the ability to hold the other side of that contract knowing that the high is 7230 on the trading session and 72 set 27 it might be beneficial to get out at break even and then re-enter again um, it hit 7214 several different times during the session uh, but you know I, I've got to get away from being the gunslinger Right now, I think that, that my main problem that I'm running into is I feel like I'm in, uh, I might as well be uh, shoving quarters into a video game back in the arcade center days because, you know, I feel like I'm playing Dragon's Lair and I'm just feeding the machine right now, trying to, should I go left, should I go right, up, down, side, you know, I mean, uh, until you solve that whole thing, I mean, it was... It, there is no rhyme or reason to the market and I know that I, I, I'm quite confident that I know that the market will do things that it uh, unexpectedly it'll do whatever it wants uh, one of the things that I'm definitely going to start looking at is having volume volume has got to be the overriding key that, that starts any initiation to any trade sequence for me from this point forward with one exception on the Friday, uh, since I like the short side, I know the Friday has a tendency to sell early right at the uh, open. If that is the case, then I want to try to catch that. Um, and then obviously I also have the what I'm calling the close 30 trade where I can bracket both sides. And that could be, um, you know, last 30 minutes of the market to trade that and obviously CL pitch strategy. Uh, I, I want to keep that in my arsenal as well uh, with you know being able to trade up to three times at that or you know or four depending upon where I am now what I've got to get back to is although I'm in the 50k I've got to recognize that I you know it's it's very easy to know that I can run the thousand dollar I like today um, knowing what I know I mean now the market's selling off so now it's at 7176 and selling off so um, was there any indication that the market was going to sell at this point by volume and not really um, the volume all came early in the morning and the volume that's now is not really showing anything on one side or the other now obviously one of the, the big things that I run into uh, and where a lot of my losses come in is when we're trading above that R2 mark 
when the market has already reached R2 prior to me trading and uh, and I feel like I'm in a yo-yo just going up and down back and forth and uh, so if I limit my trades if if I do go back to just trading what I know um, making a majority of my trades uh, go on the the short side of the market and stop worrying so much about trying to figure out the long I, I'm, I'm gonna put that I'm maybe I'll never figure out the long uh, the long just is is just it, it 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 baffles me I mean things that I think should be going up stop and things that, that are going up I think why is it going up so uh, if I'm good at one side of the market overall uh, and able to, to, to hold and catch that then I think that that is probably the better way of going at this and stop trying to make a video game of trading because right now I'm accomplishing nothing I've had probably the worst month of trading from mid-April to mid-May right now that I've had in a couple years um, and now look at that it's just falling like crazy right now back to 7150 uh, now 7153 you know you know the market can retrace you know that the market's going to do crazy things you might as well just expect the unexpected in other words and uh, allow the market to do what it's going to do you know if I got the tortoise and the hare side of the trade on if that's what I decide to do then you know obviously going after um, you know a, a, a profit target on one is probably the way to handle it and then break even on that on, on the second or holding at the, the, the stop loss of the one piece the one R stop loss maybe moving down to one half or, or something there's there's going to be some adjustments to the strategy but for the most part I'm going to tell you that I'm going back to being a, a short only trader uh, going back to what I know and how I can solve this market and if I'm proficient on one side of the market you know uh, catching that bottom occasionally or, or finding a market that really wants to like five red bars in a row where that it could be a possible bottom then maybe that's where I try to uh, take on on the short and most likely I've got a, a big win on the long side when I do it I mean on the short side when I go up to the long side so that is how I think I'm gonna not think this is what I've been writing down here uh, I am NOT a gunslinger I, I, I when I, I'm getting very uncomfortable trading anything higher than two contracts right now uh, it's just and, and I kinda had a feeling that I was going to have to get adjusted to the 50k combine to see how I would function in it and honestly you don't know how you'll function in trading until you're in, in it and you got skin in the game in this case and uh, I know that I can trade one contract proficiently adding that second contract is is doable but I have to keep my trades in a minimum and if I decide to go at that then I have to be willing to accept uh, the one hour stop on it since I've got that hundred ticks if I only trade one trade a day um, you know, maybe I'm only losing 15 to 20 to 30 uh, ticks uh, uh, in, on a trade on two contracts if it moves against me. So in that case, you know, I limit my loss on, in the trading day. Be comfortable with only trading once. Uh, find that spot that you want to be at and let it go, and then allow the market to do its thing. Um, that's my strength, and I've got to play back to that. So. That's it. That's all I got to talk about today. I hope you had a better day than me. As always, uh, I did not do good today. This has been a piss poor, I would say, since um, actually since April 1st through May, it's been some of my worst trading that I've done in a couple years. So I am, and I know why. I, I'm, I've been trying to figure out the long side of the market. Uh, I've been trying to, to, to be good at the other side and it just it's not working for me and maybe it works for you maybe you're a great long side trader I'm not um, I've got to give that to the birds and allow my strength to shine you know when the market wants to fall then that's where I want to pounce on it but if the market wants to go up and it's not at the lows of the day then maybe I just let it go 
if it's a high of day and, it, and there's a failure bar, there are certain things that I believe in. So, you know, if there's a failure bar uh, in volume, then yeah, let's just, just do what I know how to do and leave the rest to, to you guys that can do it much better than I can. I'm done scalping the market. It doesn't work for me. I knew it wasn't going to work for me. And I still tried a little bit here uh, from April through May. It just doesn't physically work for me. It doesn't work for my psyche. It doesn't work for my being. It's just not profitable for me. I would rather uh, take small losses uh, and, with, and then get that big win occasionally than the way I'm going at it right now. I just I feel a lot more confident being able to trail the market behind uh, the trade that is winning for me on the short side. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Dave Knight here from 123daytrade.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. I'll see you on the next video. I'll put together. Bye for now.